Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. So, sir, message that he will join in 15 minutes. Oh, okay, okay.
Hey, hi. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Morning. You're able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm loading the data. Which you already know. Okay, for this, I'm using data interpreter. Now I'm moving to sheet. Okay, see now, uh, we'll discuss about the filters, different ways and different applications related to the filters. Okay, what is the situation we need to use filters? What is the importance of the filters? Mm -hmm. So whenever we want a particular, uh, say, uh, if you say country, if you want only few countries, you can see only the results of that particular countries. Or if you want only products which are related to particular subcategory. A specific product or specific product or a country or a specific name, anything. Okay, right. See this one, uh, each and everyone are able to uh, understand how we created this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I'm applying the filter. What is the filter I'm going to apply? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm making it more fancy by taking category into colors and as well as uh, sales also into colors. And I didn't like this particular color and I'm changing this into Black to red, okay. Okay, now, now I'm applying filter right here. See this one. Okay, right. So this is the sheet related to sales. Now, I'm going to create an another sheet. Okay. Uh, can you please anyone tell me what are the filters we'll choose? What are the, uh, to create a filters, what we'll choose? Any interest, specific interest, category or region or segment or subcategory mm -hmm. or sales. Okay, we'll take all those three. Subcategory. Okay, remember here, you don't need to worry about it. Use all and okay. Okay, and category also take into this. Use all, okay. And another one, segment. Use all and okay. Okay, now I'm taking Sales also as a filter. And you got to understand what is the importance here. Okay, I'm taking as a sum my expectation and uh, yes, the entire limit, at least or at most or special. Okay, no problem. I'll take the entire thing. Now, this is the my uh, list. Now I'm creating a specific dashboard. Sales. I'm adjusting it into specific size. Okay, uh, automatic. Okay, right. So I'll, I'll kept it in a, a automatic form. Now, it is in a highlight mode, right? This particular visualization is highlighted. If you went to analysis, you're able to see filters. What are the options available in filter? Visible auto update category. All the four Categories, options. Which all the four options which we selected in the sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm selecting. See what what is the changes you are observing? Filters, segment, filters, subcategory, filters. Okay. Subcategory. You selected highlight subcategory, sir. Okay. One second. Analysis. 
Okay, we need to first highlight. For example, if you didn't highlight, you are not able to see any filters. Mm. Sales. Okay. Now, uh, this particular uh, page is not looking comfortable for me. I'm planning to decrease the size of it. So, just highlight it and drag and arrange at uh, some specific place where you like, okay. At here. Okay. And. Okay. Can we put that on the screen uh, on the sheet, sir, that sales one? Which one? The sales which is highlighted with colors. Uh, can we drag it onto the sheet on the uh, sales sheet? We're respecting you to like this? No, on the sheet itself, somewhere down with the little minimized. Because I tried it, it's coming up or down, but it's not getting on the sheet. That's why I asked you. It will not come into, these are individual things, right? No, but this came with the sheet, right, sir? The sales part, this one, I know it is an individual thing, but this part, uh, the highlighting, like the lower is the uh, less sales, the darker is the less, the colors it is showing the sales. So mm -hmm. will this, that small part, because if this is only one sheet, that's why we are able to move here and there. If we keep multiple sheets on the page, on the dashboards so it mm -hmm. will be very confusing and uh, clumsy you know like uh, this uh, how the user or anybody who's seeing the sheet will know the sales belong to that it will be picky or uh, you know it will not be that uh, great looking right so, so i tried it like grabbing onto the sheet it is either increasing or decreasing or it is not coming onto the sheet so I tried to, so it will not come on onto the sheet. It will come respect to two the sheet, upper uh, or uh, below. These are two different uh, things, hmm. Nirupa. You are not oh. able to place. Okay. Okay, like this. If you want, uh, you can keep. Mm -hmm. For example, this is also. You can put caption or detail or summary. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Right. Now, if you observe, this is a filter, right? Okay. If you right click and if you hmm. come into different, these all are the different uh, categories and different values. Hmm. Single value. See this one? Only any one value only you're able to select. Okay. This is um, single value drop down. I'm making it into drop down. Okay. And I'm making it into multiple values list or multiple values drop down, multiple values custom list. Okay. Uh, Right, one second, multiple values, build card match. Okay, see, for example, what are the categories we have? What are the subcategories? Furniture, we have? Access, accessories, oh, furniture, books. books. What are the accessories? Art, chairs, phones, and all these things, right? You, if mm. you want to select, you can select. You're getting what is the what is the difference between it is applying all the filters are applying combinedly. Yeah. 
so this is our entire data mm. right mm. so this is the single single selection this is the single value drop down this is the single value slider but slider will be suitable for values numerical values right mm -hmm. multiple values drop down multiple values custom list build match for example i am selecting this as a build match what is the mean will cut star will use right mm -hmm. what are there for what we use which will start with a okay hmm. so if you want to change it into another format multiple values list <clears throat> you can remove whatever you want you don't want to see okay radio button single single selections multiple selections for example here you have a one more beautiful option at here for example here i'm selecting all here also i'm selecting all here also i'm selecting all but here i am selecting as a only relevant values okay see this one consumer in consumer all are in corporate in home office in home office supplies okay like this mm. i am removing only relative values now here i am applying that particular only relevant values see this one for office supplies what are the values in sub categories mm. no, these no. are mm. for technology okay mm. for furniture this nice for consumer for corporate for all okay mm. like that you can you want to apply you can apply single value selection drop down selection wild card selection multiple values list selection and relevant values is it clear for each and everyone yes sir or anyone have any confusions okay like that here also you can select getting my point this is also the filter mm. the minimum minimum sale value is minimum if greater than 25000 show the type of records only consider maximum values up to 1 lakh from starting is there any value more than that no okay consider up to only 50000 okay hmm. based on your requirement you can able to design all these things which filter on which filter you need to apply which filter you need to do that which filter you need to do this is it clear most important thing yes sir hmm yes, sir. okay sir what Now, is this floating sir this one um, what does floating means here where here in the objects in the dashboard this part on the data pane dashboard there are particular objects uh, left side down this one the objects on the data pane sir dashboard and layout is there right here yes here, titled and you go down it is like titled or floating what does that mean object you are saying 
no in the down uh, the title is uh, highlighted same thing come okay. down and tiled tiled and floating yeah what tiled means you know uh, uh, these are fixed places where we can able to adjust tiles right you know the tiles tile mm -hmm. in our home floating means they, those are will be come based on our requirement and those done uh, disappear if we not required Oh, okay. 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 Mm. Now, uh, sheet two. For example, I told you, right, you can able to create a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. How we will create? Right click, create hierarchy. Mm. Right? Mm. I'm just renaming it. Okay, now I'm just clicking country, double click, okay? I want to see the sales information. Or put it on the label, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll tell. Okay, sales information we have. Okay, now I'm just, okay. Now I want to see the sales information is in the form of, okay. profit. I want to keep it as in, Profit. Hmm. Okay. Now see, these are the two things. Okay. These are the sum of the sale. In these two charts, you are able to see the same information, right? If you want to update, edit first one, this is the longitude value. This is an, another one. Here, I, I'm just changing. I'm just removing my sales information. And, and I'm just including my profit information, which is in the way of, I want to see the, circles okay and profit i am going to give the size also based on the profit for color i'll just okay i'll try to give the border related to it and uh, colors okay right these are the sales information now try to observe what i'm trying to do it here Sir, one minute. So, how did yes. the chart uh, divided into two? The country you um, for sales separately and for uh, uh, for the profit separately. How did this divided? Okay, mm, right. Let's see. You know, I selected the country. Country. Okay. Okay. Language uh, longitude is there, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now the sales information is in my color. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just choosing as into my first one, I'm taking it as a circles. Now I want to merge all these two things similar. And this particular sales information I don't want. I want the profit information and that too in the form of circles and I want to give I want to see the profit based on its sizes also okay now I'm just making it dual axis you got it what happened 
I measure these two individual visualizations into one scale. Mm. Now, I'm just changing the color into Okay, each and everything is applying. Now just color, edit colors, the red and black. Where it is applied, you're able to observe anything? Mm -hmm. I think the profit, it, some of profit it applied. Edit colors. sum of profits it applied. Mm -hmm. But we are not able to see, right? Yeah. yeah. But we are not able to see that uh, information. And uh, one second. I'll do one thing. I'll take uh, two specific things to select. This is the select tool. I'm just selecting. These are as a highlight. OK. Mm -hmm. And. Okay. Right. Now, profit information is not here. Sales information is there. Sales information is in the size. Right. I'm just trying to increase the size. Mm -hmm. Okay, along with that, colors, I'll choose completely red. You are able to see now? Mm. If you choose any another color, that is also fine. I'll select the black. Uh, which one will be highlight? Gray one, okay. Okay, see now, you know what I'm doing right here? Category is there, right? Okay, okay, one second, one second. Now I'm just changing it into pie chart. Okay. Each and everything you are able to see in the same size. Now, profit, I am making it into you. That is my chart. Profit, I am making it in angle. These are in another form. One second. Country. We did it. Two things. And sales information into color. And this is the first one. And this is the second one. Second one. In the second one, I'm changing. I'm removing the sales information and that is related to countries. Okay. Now I'm removing this country's information also. There is no or nothing in it. I'm checking color. And the profit is in size. Okay. Right. That is the mistake. what uh, you're able to see right first one is related to sales first one is related to sales now try to create profit information on the second one first try to create this one i'll give two minutes okay 
in second one, sir, I, I pick a uh, profit. So the board looks different color.
sir are you telling anything oh. sir uh, are you talking anything because i yes, can't yes hear. yes i i'm i'm asking you created this particular yes. thing or not yes uh, sir i made yes. a dual chart a dual access chart you made that dual access chart yeah the one which you showed before hmm but why it is not showing this uh, in uh, you know in the marks a shelf we can choose automatic circle i mean shapes no sir why it is not showing the pie chart rest all it is showing but why it is not showing the pie chart it will show it will show it will show don't worry it will show okay uh, this is the basic thing which you, uh, uh, smita you created yes sir i did okay right now now we are selecting the second one which is one is already uh, we got to know like that uh, we are treating this as a this is another chart sir so no previous one previous one okay 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 now after this what we did we already have the sales information in this particular format mm -hmm. okay now you see how you are able to identify which is highlighted mode which is in a highlighted mode that will be where it is highlighted be, sir it will be bold like in the mark in the mark one. in the mark oh, okay that i saw but i saw i thought okay. somewhere you see if 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 it is this one Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, just try to observe. You want to bring the profits into it. How you will bring? You will pull. You will drag the profits to the next uh, to whatever chart you want. Yes. How? How? I don't want sales information here. Okay, just This only the country information. Mm -hmm. Okay, just pull the profits to the mm. uh, say color or label, whatever you want. Okay, color, size, and the size I'll take it into color, color. and that color I'm going to edit with. Red to black. Okay, this is not that much visible, and uh, I'm selecting another one which will be starting with the black and ending with the red. Okay, this is visible right now. Yes. These are the profits. Okay. Yes. Now we have a profit and we have a sales information. Mm. Is it clear up to now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, how you are going to merge these two? On right click and dual access. Dual access. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am not going to do each and everything, right? I want to select the study. These these are the select tools. Okay. these are the things which i am looking into it so one more time select which is the uh, how did you select you have a uh, selection selection okay, tool okay. here okay i got it got it the play button okay how we will remove this thing your concentric area zoom in and zoom out the hand function okay now <clears throat> this is the second one or first one two are there here which one is which um it's the sales one is highlighted okay if you want to increase the size how you will do you will click on the size and just you know, Okay. 
ओके ओके नाउ सी व्हाट आर दिस आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग पाई चार्ज and i am taking category into angle sorry one second one second is happening right there okay um i first i'll select a specific concentric area okay keep only i selected these are the keep only i, I selected the keep only option you are able to see it here and remaining all are completely unhighlighted this is the part now what i am going to do Okay. You get that green in color, sir. Hmm. Yes. If you want to see the information, sales information and profit information. Yes, got it. And the. Uh, category information also if you want this is if you want sales information also okay if you want to change it into the percentages you already know how to do <laughs> hmm. right clear this one how to create a dual axis and a specific thing so what you did like when you select that pie chart below the longitude one after mm -hmm. that it automatically came in that pie chart form no 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 see one second i'm creating see i selected country hmm <coughs> okay i just duplicated this hmm and i'm i want i'm i'm trying to see the sales in this particular color in mm. these two charts i am able to see only sales ha huh. okay in the second one i am removing the sales information mm. these are the mm. countries, countries which i selected mm. okay mm. now what i am doing i want to see the profit information Stop. into the color hmm okay i don't want to see in the automatic way i want to see it hmm. in a, for example you can consider circles circle hmm. okay the profit i am making it into in the form of size based on its hmm. profit it will show the size okay i am just increasing hmm. the size size hmm okay this is the comparative size now you know what i am hmm. doing i am just doing dual axis hmm. mode i'm uh, i multiply Okay, mm. each and everything I am not able to see, right? Okay, if I want to mention each and everything, that's also fine. See this one? I am taking the category and I am okay. Okay, see this. Oh, Circles, right? I want to mm. change it into pie chart. Mm. Okay, now I am making it into okay. category. Sorry, categories into colors. Colors. Okay, okay. Like which where we want to see the yeah 
the reason we have to select that thing. Okay. Here, this is the hmm. label. This is the category is another label. You want to see more information? Hmm. Sir, this one, um, what are you doing to zoom in, sir, like without pressing that plus button? Uh, mouse, mouse, mouse hmm. uh, will be there, right? Zoom in and zoom out. How we'll see the movies, uh, how we'll see the pictures. Okay. Okay, I thought there is another any <laughs> Not any gaming keyboard, I'm not using. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, right, mm. how to change it into percentages? These values? Yes. How, how you will change? Like which value we want to change, we will go there and right click and we will go to table calculation, then percent of total, percent difference, whatever we want to see, we can good, do that. Good, 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 good. Okay, these are the uh, these are the things. One is the filters option, and another one is the this. Hmm. Most of the times, okay. Now, hmm. is everyone clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same picture or the created? You created picture. Which you guys have posted in the group? No, 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 sir. <laughs> I am keeping it from uh, so I can recall. <laughs> okay. Then I try to do it with you. Then I usually I get lost in one or two steps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Now, can you please try to create a dual access one, which will okay. For example. Uh, I'm, I'm removing all these things. Okay. Try to identify. Top five cities. Sales information, profit information, and quantity information. Top five cities. On the geographical view. You need to use filters. You need to use dual access under uh, that concept. Is it clear? Yes, sir. I want sales information, profit information, quantity information on the geographical map with the filters. Mm. All the filters I need to have. If I want to filter with the profit, sales, quantity, and cities. How you will create? That is one question. Next. Next question is. Identify the, uh, I would select, try to create a visualization with quantity, with quantity on the geographical location state wise. And I want only top 10. Top 10. Sales, sir. Quantities. City wise. State wise. City, city wise. Same question. Yes. 
but in the visualization i want in a uh, geographical locations okay each and everyone are comfortable in coloring and labeling and percentages changing format dragging and dropping creating a dashboard and applying aggregation functions filters yeah. okay then uh, we will see the forecastings and the um, some more uh, concepts are there one is another one is the uh, we need to use joins and parameters hmm. okay joins and so, parameters joins and parameters and along with that a little for uh, we'll take one data and we'll try to see the forecasting okay mm -hmm. so i have one question yes like, yes tell me regarding that attr function in this how that sorry, works sorry. attr function aggregate attr hmm yes where it is there yeah I it's in like in create calculated field it will come when we search attr create a calculate field mm okay this one attr returns the value of the given expression if it is only has a single value for all the rows in the group otherwise it displays an asterisk symbol null value are ignored <coughs> returns the value of the given expression if it has only single value so i like i am little bit confused in the uh, definition that, that of the particular function that particular function data is not available in this particular sample data set uh, okay, i'll make okay. a note and i'll explain it mm -hmm. yeah sure because i was going through some other oh, things so it okay. came out so i thought i yeah. okay okay done 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 yeah just just i mean and, try to post it in a group i'll be remember okay yeah and regarding that power bi so i think uh, power bi is not available in mac i just searched a lot mm -hmm. it will work in ios in phone iphone <laughs> but it will not available in on mac then connect connect your mobile phone to your pc yeah i will try to download it on my phone so let's see how it goes oh, right. yeah. okay guys thank you thank you uh, we will start power bi from tomorrow sir uh these two concepts are completed we will start power bi okay okay thank you sir okay okay thank you, bye sir. bye good night good night good night good night, good night. Good night sir